Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Culture. This channel will contain those programs whose explanation is either not present on YouTube or the explanation is present but not up to the mark. So without wasting time, let's get started. So today's question is the array nesting question which is also the first question of the September Lit Coding Challenge. Okay, so it is a medium level question and what we have to do in this question is that we will be given a nums array and the nums array will contain the all the elements from the range 0 to n minus 1 where n will be the length of the array like this the length of this array is 7 so it will contain all the elements from 0 to 6 all the elements from 0 to 6 it means that it does not contain a duplicate number it will contain each number one time okay and what we have to do is that we have to make a set and uh, to check that uh, Okay, so yeah, like uh, I will first of all start from the 5 and then add go to the uh, nums of 5, nums of 5 is 6 and from 6 I will go to the nums of 6 that is 2, from 2 I will go to the nums of 2 that is 0 and from 0 I will go to the nums of 0 that is 5. Okay, so uh, we, I started from 5 and reached 5 so the maximum length it is 4. In this way we have to do, okay, so in the other words, in other words if I can say that I have to find the largest cycle in the graph okay so how we will do is like uh, first of all i will start from each element let's go to the paint and uh, discuss there okay like first of all i will start from the five okay and i will mark the five as the min value integer dot min oh, you can make it anything okay and then i will go to the nums of five and nums of five is nums of six and then i will make it as the min value okay and then I will go to nums of 6 that is 2 and I will again make it as min then I will go to the nums of 2 that is 0 and I will make it as min okay then I will go to 0 nums of 0 that is 5 and I will check that oh it is already visited min means it is already visited so I think that we have reached a cycle so the length of this cycle I will calculate it in a global variable and the length of this cycle will be 4 okay then I will go to the uh, go outside of the DFS loop and then check that 4 for the 4 the 4 and I will mark it as minimum okay then I will go to nums of 4 what is nums of 4 it is 1 nums of 1 I will mark it as minimum and go to minimum go to num okay and then again the nums of 1 it will be 4 and it is marked so the length of this cycle is 4 and 1 2 i will take the maximum and the maximum is 4 okay then i will go to 0 and check that oh it is already visited if it is already visited it's not need to go okay then i will go to 3 then uh, check if the 3 is visited no it is not visited i will mark it as minimum here then i will go to nums of 3 nums of 3 is now visited okay nums of 3 here is now visited so yeah the length of the cycle is only 1 and uh, the maximum it will again be 4 then the 1 it is um, marked as minimum so it is visited the 6 it is marked as minimum so it is visited and similarly 2 is also visited so the length of the cycle the maximum cycle is 4 and we have to return this length so this was the question let's uh, try to talk it discuss it in Hindi also so what are we going to do here? we have to do cycles detect and the maximum length ki cycle return the length return is the biggest cycle so how do we return the cycle? we have visited one element and visit visited and we have next nums of 5 पे चले गए नंबर ऑफ 5 हमारा 6 है हमने इसको विजिटेड मार्क किया और हम फिर नंबर ऑफ 6 पे चले गए 2 नंबर ऑफ 2 को हमने विजिटेड मार्क किया फिर हम नंबर ऑफ 2 जो कि 0 है उस पे चले गए और हमने 0 को विजिटेड 0 को विजिटेड मार्क किया और हम नंबर ऑफ 0 जो कि ये 5 है यहां पे चले गए लेकिन 5 तो मेरा पहले से विजिटेड मार्क है तो ये हमारी एक साइकिल हो गई और इस साइकिल की लेंथ 4 हो गई ओके तो हमें बस एक 5 पे जैसे ही आएंगे तो देखेंगे 5 तो मेरा विजिटेड है 5 विजिटेड है तो फिर बस हमारी लेंथ देख लेंगे लेंथ हमारी साइकिल की होगी 4 जो कि एक बार हो जाए उसके बाद हम फिर से देखेंगे 4 अगला वाला एलिमेंट वो देखेंगे वो विजिटेड है नहीं उसको विजिटेड मार्क करेंगे नंबर ऑफ 4 पे जाएंगे वो 1 होगा 1 पे विजिटेड मार्क करेंगे और उसके उस पे नंबर ऑफ 1 पे जाएंगे ओके 4 वो विजिटेड है तो इसकी साइकिल की लेंथ तो होगी तो इस तरीके से हमें मैक्सिमम लेंथ ऑफ साइकिल रिटर्न करनी है तो ओके या सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट टू कोड इट एंड सो फॉर द आई विल डू इट बाय मेकिंग अ सेपरेट फंक्शन ऑफ द डीएफएस यू कैन डू इट इन दैट मेन फंक्शन ओनली ओके सो टू मेक द सेपरेट फंक्शन आई विल रिक्वायर टू ग्लोबल वेरिएबल्स प्राइवेट इंट वन इज द काउंट एंड अदर इज द मैक्स लेट्स इनिशियलाइज मैक्स विद अ जीरो एंड ओके एंड नाउ व्हाट आई विल डू इज yeah so first of all i will run the loop for all and i equal to zero i less than nums dot length 
i plus plus okay and here i will first of all initialize my count equal to zero and then i will run the dfs for the dfs i will pass nums array and the i yeah for the i like first of all zero then it will be one and yeah in that in that way only and at last i will return my max okay so now the only thing remaining is to make the making the the dfs function and uh, you must all will be familiar with the uh, dfs if not let's see and it is not returning anything and the dfs and here what int of nums and what and let's say int of in index okay and okay now when we will terminate it if i will get the uh, the nums of index it is equal to integer dot min value it means that i am i have again arrived at the same place which is which is visited so i will compare my count with the max and then return so if my nums of int or index equal to integer dot min value here integer dot min value is equal to visited it means that it is visited so i will make max equal to math dot max count and comma max okay and then i will simply return if it is not it means it is not visited then i will like uh, here i came at 5 and the 5 is not visited then what i will do i will go to the nums of 5 which is 6 i will go to the nums of 5 but before going to nums of 5 i will make this 5 as visited so i will first of all store its value so int tmp equal to nums of index okay and now nums of index and uh, now yeah i will make the nums of index equal to visited and to make it visited i will simply make it as integer dot min value yeah and now i will again call the dfs for the dfs i will pass nums and my store the index nums of index which is tmp so tmp and uh, yeah okay yeah one more thing i haven't incremented my count i will increment the count plus plus so i think it should run if it will run i will again I will again try to discuss it once again. Okay, so yeah, it's running, and let's see if it is accepted or not. Yeah, it's accepted. So what I'm doing is that uh, I'm simply traversing the whole of the array and uh, making marking the visited, marking the positions which I have visited as visited, and to mark it visited, I'm simply making it as integer dot mean value. And if I again gets a value which is integer dot manual it means it is visited already so i have discovered a cycle and i will take the maximum length of the cycle and otherwise if it is not visited i will mark it as visited like here and before marking it as visited i will have to store its value as i have to go next to that value like here i have to mark this five as visited but I have to also go at the fifth nums of fifth so i will simply store its value fifth in a temporary variable and then make it as visited and then i go to the nums of temp which is six and i have to increment my count okay so yeah that's it that was today's video hope you have liked it if this video has helped you okay so yeah that's it that was today's video hope you have liked it if you have uh, uh, liked the video and this video has helped you in understanding this question in a easy way and uh, to get you some sense of the dfs then i think the channel must uh, deserve a subscribe so please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon and ask any doubts of yours into the comment section i will reply each of them okay till then keep on coding and jai hind bye